saw back at the truck again and we have the pieces made for the for the seals or the rockers right here so shortly we're going to uh, start cut some of this out and get it fitted right now this vehicle is resting on the back part and on the front part of this rack so it's pretty well square where it is so uh, we'll, we're not going to go crazy with it it's going to take out uh, one rocker at a time and uh, see what we fit it in because if we have both doors or it'd be a lot better right now but like i said uh, we get it in we won't totally weld uh, the door post down here we won't totally weld the door post down here just yet we're still going to have a little bit of uh, stuff to fix in here too uh turn right on there again around that area down on the bottom so we have something to fix in around there so we're just going to work on cutting that piece off getting it out and uh, get the get a put get the piece put into it so we've been in here and was looking at this area here and i said well a bit of stuff after coming out there i guess where it's been in the woods for so long then we grabbed the hammer After taking all that out of there, so it's, uh, it's quite a mess that was up into it. But we looked at it from there, this door post is full too. So, uh, let's give it a little bang, get it out of there so it's not a uh, we do set the wells and stuff, it won't be uh, won't be smoldering inside the door jam. Okay, so at the truck, we end up uh, welding this little piece of flat bar around for the time being just to keep it uh, from spreading any and it looks good and you see in here just trim this piece back here got our cut off more than what we need to here and uh, as you can see uh, the piece got to go up into here and it goes back through here and you can see like maybe this uh, part here I got my finger this here was probably had a bit of welling on at some point and it was uh, made to take up the space but this here is the height of what the door was so lines is up to that part we should be good so anyway i'm gonna <clears throat> we'll lift that piece up there now that we got made and we got the hammering in and we just get a little fitment down to it and see what it looks like so anyway we're here and uh it's the piece we have So there's a piece that we made. You can still see it's got a nice arc on to it. I cut this back purposely back there. But uh, the funny thing about it is I cut it out. Oh my God, you can see the thickness of the metal. It was, it was actually really strong. So it's too bad I had a few holes in her here and some stuff. But um, I'm going to get this piece up back now, tack it in there, and. Uh, I want to fill up and uh, just uh, get her tacked in place. At least uh, then, when it comes over here, we'll eventually be able to make the, our cab mount off of here and some stuff. But uh, we get her in here and we get her tacked back there. We probably run across, when we just tear the saw down, we run across, number across it. And uh, we'll uh, keep on going from there. So, by the looks of things, it's already that the floor is actually in it to give you something to go by, but uh, I'd say by the time we're finished, it would probably be a whole another floor into it anyway. Not that it is completely rotted out, it's a hole here and there, but it's usually the, I don't want to deal with that big heavy black pits, so we'll do something to try to make a noise of it. Alright, so we'll check back shortly. Okay, so we're moving along with the, the old truck ready, and uh, anyway, as you can see, uh, we have the second rocker put in here the other one is in over there 
So uh, what we're going to do uh, next is, uh, well we know the original mounts were here somewhere. So anyway, we're going to cut across part of this area here. Uh, I would say we're going to replace an Alice anyway, but uh, we're going to run a piece of uh, a piece of uh, square steel across that way to both sides and uh, weld it down. Uh, sorry, well, across that way to both sides, we'll weld it down here and then they'll join up to them and they'll give a lot of rigidity to the cab. So, uh, what we'll do next now, we'll cut it out and we'll uh, take it out the front of the cab. We're not exactly sure. I like to get the frame just to see. As I, I have no plans on leaving that removable part of the tunnel that big. So anyway, um, you can see look, these are the holes here. Original mounts are right here. And uh, all it was is a plate over there and it's up on that. But anyway, uh, continue on. Have a look shortly. So anyway, a little more progress. And uh, see we have boat rockers in again from last time. And uh, we cut this piece across here. It's not really uh, attached to nothing, but we got a line across it and stuff. And uh, we are just tacked in her right now. So the idea is, is that we didn't want to cut this completely out until we got it tacked in. And actually, we didn't want to take this out of here. So uh, eventually, now we're going to get a piece bent and come in around here and go out on the back of the cab. Uh, probably the same width as this. And uh, tied it in the crack that'll uh, take in the out of strength back of the cab and support all this uh, stuff around here <clears throat> so and like I said it'll give us a spot now when we can run off here to here and put a plate over and put our uh, body mounts there so uh, that's the next uh, step but uh, moving along it's, uh, it's uh, looking pretty good so far like I said uh, the floors some of them never we caught out of them it's uh, really strong is just that uh, like I said you know I, I was peeling in it I mean you could have cleaned it up and sprayed something over it and stuff like that but you know I should look a little bit nice anyway so anyway next time see you later